did something like this set state editing oh, editing editing true and in here we said on click this time to edit okay what if we did that maybe we just say bind here as well bind this okay so this says when you execute this function make sure that the this inside that function is whatever the this inside this function is <laughs> that's JavaScript anyway what if we did something like that um, well this wouldn't exactly work would it this wouldn't work because editing is not actually part of this component we'd have to try and say something like this parent or however we would try and work that out but now we have to connect the list item to its parent, and so the functionality of that happening well that gets kind of murky and and even then what happens if we do manage to reference this parent and change its editing state well that means that the page editing state will change and so maybe we might switch to the page editor but what if we needed to reference other stuff elsewhere in the UI again we would have to do some kind of this get parent get parent get parent the kind of thing that you may have done in jQuery before if you were trying to affect outer elements from children there is a better way to do this though there's a better way to do this let's take this time to edit thing out Now let's think about this from the top down. Page admin gets the list of pages. It already knows about other parts of the system. It knows how to get that data. All that data is provided as a property. But it knows that that property is there, right? It has some knowledge of the outside system. What if we could isolate all knowledge of the outside system just in page admin? What if we could put the logic to get new data and to update data and to delete data in page admin and trickle it down to just the components that need it and need to know how to react when that edit link is clicked. Maybe we could do something like on page edit and we give this a function. This handle page edit. Again we can do bind this. I'll show you a slightly better way to do this bind this thing. But what if we did something like that? What if we did something like that and then we had handle page edit as a function and we console logged? Time to edit a page. Okay, what if we did that? Well, then we have access to that inside page. That's interesting. Maybe we need to get it down into page list item because that's where the link is, right? So again, we can repeat this. We can say on page edit, uh, edit this props on page edit. Okay. And now when we get to the list item, instead of putting our own logic inside this class, we can just say on click. page edit that's interesting does that actually work let's try hopefully there aren't any JavaScript errors uh, handle page edit <laughs> rats okay uh, I've done something wrong here this handle page edit bind this ah that's right okay so this inside this function wasn't actually bound to this in this in this outer function so many this's okay this is another thing that you're gonna have to look at MDN this the <laughs> MDN this okay now the this keyword is a very tricky thing and I'm not actually gonna be able to explain it to you but look through the Mozilla developer network docs on what this actually means and it might show you why I needed to change that to that okay this just means that this here means the same here as it does here okay okay let's refresh
Okay. Well, that's not really doing anything. Hmm. Let's have a look again. Page list item on click. This property is on pag edit. <laughs> Maybe pag edit should be defined. There we go. Check that out. Check the console messages. I'll make that a bit bigger so you can relish in my success with me. Okay. That's a very interesting approach, isn't it? It's a very interesting approach. It's a very top-down approach, right? Because now we have a way of defining functionality in the page admin class, the same place that gets external data and can it serves as a very good place to do updates and deletes to that data. We can define what happens when we click buttons in our components. Now, maybe what we should do is instead of saying Instead of having this internal state here, maybe we can do something like is editing this props is editing. Let's make this multi line just to make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, this props is editing. Now I'm not passing this down yet because in our page admin, well, uh, do we really want to put this here? Maybe we should store this state. Maybe we should still store this state in. I'm not sure where the best place to store this is actually. Uh, I don't think this should be from this level. <laughs> I think this handle page edit should actually be inside page. And I'll I'll show I'll I'll show you why as we go along. Okay, so let's put the state back here. This state editing, in fact I'll maybe say is editing false and handle edit swaps this state around. Okay, so handle edit says this set state is editing true, true. <laughs> Let's try it with that for now. I'll explain why I wanted to make that change anyway. Does it work? No, that doesn't work. This. Ah. Don't mind this. Okay. <laughs> this handle page edit. I'll get this soon, okay? I'll get this soon. Just get off my back. I'm getting there. Okay. There we go. So we can put all of these in edit mode. Now, let me explain why I moved this one level down. We still want page edit to handle things like saving pages and deleting pages and adding new pages, right? But we don't really care how those pages are edited or how the delete is invoked. We just want to perform the base functionality. We want to say something like handle page update, handle page delete, handle page insert. These are the data points that we want to be able to deal with with this main page admin component. So it gets data in and it allows us to insert and update and delete. But how those UI components are rendered? Well, we don't really care. We do want to pass these along though. So we want to say something like on, pay, uh, on page insert, this handle page insert, bind this. Now, let me stop for a moment. Let me sidetrack for a little moment. Every time we say this, handle page insert bind this. What we're doing is we're changing what the this keyword means when that function is invoked. And that's very useful. We have to do that a lot of the time. But every time we say bind this, we create a new function reference. We're not using exactly the same and just changing it a little bit. This is an immutable function. When we say bind this, we get a new reference. And that's fine if we're doing it once, but we're doing it every time this page is rendered. We're creating new references to this every time. Now, one way that we can get around this is by binding this when we create a component, by rebinding this, basically. And 
then just giving that bound variable here. It's a common pattern and we've already got a solution to this. It is the base component that we're inheriting from has a bind function and this bind function replaces methods defined by methods defined and bound to the class they're defined on. It's very simple. We can go into here and we can say something like this bind handle page insert Handle page update, handle page delete, oops. Can I remember what this thing was? What was this hotkey? C, no, hold on, I need to find out what this hotkey is. <laughs> I need to get my sticky clipboard. I'll, 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 I'll be right with you. Clipboard, control, alt, C, wow. There we go, update. delete. It's very handy, by the way, Alfred and Sticky Clipboard, hey? Okay. Now, when we do this, it will replace these methods with methods that are bound to the class that it's defined on. So now we don't have to say bind this anymore, it's already bound. We just say handle page insert. It's a pretty cool shortcut. We'll do this for all three. Okay, so uh, let's take this out and let's delete this nonsense here because I'm not really interested in that anymore. I can just say <sighs> time to insert a page <laughs> with equally creative things here. Update, delete. Okay, we'll see how we use this later. I'm not going to use it right now, but it's there for when we need to use it. Alignment sucks. Okay, page admin. Now, inside page, remember we've got a way to toggle these. Let's just go back to the browser quickly and see that again. To remind myself that it still works, edit. Okay, it can switch to editor mode. Now, whereas we're concerned with how the data is created in a database or through a WebSocket or whatever, we're concerned with that in page admin. What we're concerned with in the page component is the interface that we use to do that stuff. So how do we edit a record? How do we delete a record? What are the interface elements to doing that? And we've already done one of them, which is we have a way to tell if we're editing the page or not. And if we are, then we'll render an editor. Else we'll just render a list item. That seems pretty cool. Okay, let's add another thing here because we're gonna need it just now for on page delete. By the way, what did I call those methods? Handle. Okay, cool. So on page delete, handle page delete. I need to have something here. Uh, I won't change this. I'll just say time to delete a page. Okay. And let's create a corresponding link for this because we have one for edit. So in our page list item, let's have another link here. Wow, this is getting messy. Let's just do this for now. On click on page delete and we'll call this link delete. Okay, let's see if this worked. Back to our browser. When we hit delete, what does it say? When we hit it, when we punch delete hard. Ah, oh, we have a problem here. Where is this error? Will it show us? It won't show us. Show me. It won't show us. Uh, this props on page delete. I'll get rid of this click stuff as well because I don't really want it here. Let's see, page, handle edit, handle delete. I don't. Oh, it's not named properly. <laughs> cool, thank you. Delete. Time to delete a page, edit. Time to edit a page. Okay, sweet. So, what next? Well, let's um, let's see. Let's see. On this, let's say something like this: props on page delete, and give it the page that we're working with. So something like this: 